Hello you beautiful peeps! This is the LC Racing EMB SC and SC is for short course truck. I believe, hope I haven't got that wrong, that would be embarrassing wouldn't it? Um, now why have I picked an LC Racing? Well, I am nagged, nag, 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 nagged over and over and over to go for an LC Racing versus the WL Toys. Now I'm going to try my best to not say WL Toys so much because I don't want to have so much of a comparison over them. But let's face it, WL Toys have stolen pretty much every one of their designs so it's going to happen. Why would I buy this that costs 276 US dollars today over a WL Toys? I could get a similar one for I believe it's 160. Is it that much better quality? Is it that much better? Is it faster? I don't know. Let's take a look at it. Okay, um, as you can see, I've already pimped it out. <clears throat> All of the stickers come on a sheet, so you can put them wherever you want them. And I've obviously put on the, the light stickers, rear lights and whatnot. So you put them wherever you want them. I did them about two weeks ago because I was bored one night and I thought I would give it a wang. So that is not set. You can put them wherever you want. Um, what I will say is this is a... So that's the charger done then. This is a Fly Sky controller and you definitely feel the quality versus the uh, WL Toys that... Mm, let's move on. I've said WL Toys. Am I going to put a counter up and just see how many times I say WL Toys? Um, I'll take the shell off straight away so we can get into the nitty gritty. What comes in the box is pretty much what you see here. Car, shell controller, instruction manual, this nice little pamphlet telling you all the other cars that you want to buy. I want that one. I love rally cars. I've always loved WRC, so I think that will be my next one. Donut man, and we've got the second uh, charger. Uh, it's going to be a good day. For those that don't know, I've been uh, sick for uh, 12 days now, but now I'm feeling a lot better. So I've just uh, finished the video intro for the JLB Cheetah that you probably already seen that video. And now I get to drive this little beauty as well. Um, now I did, I did get it out and I did obviously have a look at it in detail. And it does feel, you can feel the difference just in the materials. This this is similar to the one that I put on the uh, WL Toys, isn't it? So that will be the same, but like the shocks, they just feel much better. I've actually, I did buy some shocks here that I'm going to be doing a video on because I wanted to see the quality difference between uh, WL Toys Dink and uh, the LC Racing. But the, you can just feel that the plastics feel a little bit more quality. Um, the chassis, well, I mean, is that not absolutely identical? Oh, I don't need to do that, do I? I have one ear. What do you think? I mean, it's not far off, is it? Not far off at all. So, you know what? I mean, is it a bit thicker? It looks a bit thicker, actually, but I can't say for sure. Everything. Everything feels very familiar. Do you know what I mean? If you've got a, a WL Toys Ding 144001, you know what this feels like. Um, is it worth the extra hundred? Do you know what? We're going to have to wait until we get it out and drive it. I think that's the best thing to do. Um, I mean, I want to show you it in detail because it, it does just look, it looks better. Let's do it that way so that you're not turning your heads around like that. You know, everything just looks like a little bit better quality. And it's got the separate, obviously, ESC and receiver, so that's always nice, and um, a three-wire servo, so if you want to swap that out. <clears throat> Brushless 4,500 kV motor, and it comes with a, I actually haven't looked at this, I don't know. Oh, I mean, even the strap feels good quality, ladies and gents, Jesus attention to detail or what. Uh, what have we got? 1,800 milliamp hour 20C2S battery. Very nice indeed. That needs to be charged up straight away. Um, I mean, it's a tiny little motor, but again, does it need to be huge? We know that size doesn't always matter. Don't. Um, when I do this on the WL Toys, ding, it spins round and round, doesn't it? And 
maybe you know it's a good thing I, I'm assuming that I'm not going to have to rush in and grease these straight away. I have been told by LC racing experts that everything should be good to go and doesn't require anything. I mean, just the... I don't know if I like the shell. I don't know if I'm really a, a, a short course truck uh, fan myself, but of course, again, it's down to the fun factor. When I get it out, when I get it driving, is it gonna make me giggle? Am I gonna have some fun? Well, I, I think it will do. I really do think it will do. I'd like to know the speed. I wanna know uh, what it's gonna do, but I'm going somewhere today that's just pure gravel. So I'm not gonna worry about top speed today. I'm gonna worry about acceleration and fun. So I'm not going to waffle any longer. I'm going to say, let's get out, let's get driving, let's have some fun. See you soon. Go cheat on me. It is not good. Well, 
welcome back to the blue mat. Um, what do you guys think? I know there wasn't a lot of footage. Uh, that was just down to the fake, the fact that it had a bud, a bud, a mud bath. Well, I can't talk. It's late in the evening now, and I've been going the whole day. Uh, I, I have to say, I have driven a lot of cars through the very, very same mud and not once has it ever come in through the shell and just literally just caked down on top of all the electronics. I mean, it was literally a bath, wasn't it? Um, I've cleaned it up now the best that I can. Doesn't look too bad, but because everything was basically in the mud and the water, I thought the only way to do it properly is to give it a good old uh, wash with water and then uh, WD-40 it straight after. I have no idea if the electronics are blown and whether anything is blown. I've now left it for several hours. It's been outside in the sun and then I brought it in and dried it up a little bit. Um, right, before we get on, let's, let's just test it, okay? That's already on. Um, that's off. I don't know if this is going to work because you saw with the pictures, this was just, well, I mean, it was up to here, wasn't it? So I'd be surprised if it works, but let's go. Well, no big bang, always a good sign. Wow, Jesus. Okay, that was WD-40 that just went everywhere. Hopefully not on the lens. Right, well, there you go, ladies and gents. Everything's working as it should. Put that over there for now. So, is it worth the money? Yes, I think it is. Uh, you're basically getting everything that we wanted in the, I can't say the 144001 brushless, because there isn't one, but the EAT14 brushless, because it's brushless, it goes really fast. It handles really well. Now, I hope that came across on the video. I fear it may not because of the bumps and whatnot. And my driving wasn't the best today, I can tell you that, because I was in a bit of a rebel mood and I was just having fun and doing stuff that I wanted to do. Whereas I tried to keep it in a straight line for most videos and you know show, show it power sliding and whatnot. Today, I was just messing around a lot. And so was Colin as well. So there wasn't a lot of great footage in that respect, but I hope you saw what it was capable of. Um, once it started to get caked with mud, we actually started to have a transmission problem, believe it or not. And I'm like, oh no, EAT14, the 12401716 Palava. But it was just literally that there was a thick layer of mud over everything. So hence the reason why the signal wasn't getting through. The design of the uh, short, course truck is not good okay and and that's got listen it, it's it's a sport i believe i've never seen them actually race but you know this is just a a smaller version but what happens is as the car goes through the mud's obviously going up like that and then just coming down on all of the car so if you're gonna buy one of these don't 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 <laughs> don't drive it through mud for obvious reasons um it, it just cakes it, but you know, I literally just sprayed this with a hose, sprayed it with WD-40 to get rid of the water and you know, it looks pretty good. I, I did think there was actually some rust on the uh, front um, CUD dog bones, drive shafts, um, but it wasn't. It was uh, just the mud that, that was stuck there. Um, I, I have to say, I really did enjoy this. I need to be a little bit careful because I don't want it to be sort of mind over matter. You know, that, that sort of situation where you get in where um, you know it's more expensive so you just automatically assume it's better quality. You know, it, you think it feels better when in fact everything's the same, but it just does. Everything does. The sound of it, the sound, the sound, the sound, the sound, that right, that's it. That's what I can put my finger on. The sound when this accelerates is like smooth as butter smooth as butter it, it's like the 144001 if you to drop the whole thing into a bucket of oil and then accelerated and then suddenly everything's down and smooth and lovely that's what this sounds like um i was a little bit concerned because obviously at the start you know i said that these aren't aren't spinning freely but 
nothing to do with the actual driving of the thing. It was brilliant. The controller, absolutely brilliant. I felt like I was in control all of the time myself. It feels nice, good quality. We had a few bashes, a few rolls, yeah, but nothing's damaged on it. Nothing, I, nothing will because you see, what WL Toys have done is taken the 144001 directly from LC Racing. Not specifically this one, but the, you know, the similar design. Let's face it, you can tell that it's a similar design. So if WL Toys can take that and make it really quite durable, I hope we all agree on that. I mean, I've got WL Toys still from April 2020 that are still running, still sounding good. And, you know, I've beaten them up. I've smashed them into curves. I've I've done a lot to these cars and they can take a beating. Well, if these can take, you know, the same sort of beating, they're so smooth, you know, the, the speed is there. I, I absolutely love it. I truly do. I am going to uh, pencil in to get this one to that go-kart track that we went to. I don't know what it's going to handle like on the, um, on the tarmac, but I'd like to get it there just to give it a nice good run as well. I, I just, I truly like it. It was, when you've been in bed for 12 days, or not in bed but for 12 days, but unwell for 12 days, you know, your expectations are pretty low. You could put something very cheap in front of me and I'd have just been having fun today. Not a bonsai, oops. Um, but, you know, this was a real pleasure to drive. I had a lot of fun with it. I, I'm not a fan of the shape of the shells. I don't know what it is. I'm not really a truck guy, I'm afraid. Um, so I may just, buy that rally shell and put that on there but for an actual base you know the, the oops, just like right let me get that out of the way so you can see on that camera as well right ready i'm not talking about whether the chassis hits the bottom or not that happens with all cars you know from a certain height i'm talking about listen to it the wo toys it doesn't have a squeak don't get me wrong you know the wo toys does a very good job at what it does but It just feels, oh, it's so hard to say. It just feels better. Everything feels better. The steering feels better. Oops. Mm, what do I do with that battery? Over there. Uh, on. Should have put that on first, whoops. Let me bring you down so that you can like have a good look at this, okay? Right. Ready? It's it's obviously a better design, you know, everything about it is is just good. Now, the the question for me that I like coming to sort of at the end of these videos, would I buy one myself? So I've got enough money to buy a 144001. Do I wait a few more months and buy one of these over a 144001? I have to say yes. I would wait. Where well, usually I'd be defending the 144001 or any WO toys in that, well not any, not the latest ones, Jesus. Uh, the 124018, the 124019, to be clear. Um, I would defend them saying, yes, but you could get the 144001 and the other two I just mentioned, and then you've got six months of fun. Uh, you know, that's how long it would take you to be able to afford the equivalent LC Racing one. Well, after having this out, I think it's just got enough, it's got enough little things, enough quality, enough everything, I, don't, I know I don't have to grease the dish straight out of the box. That that actually means something after you've greased a thousand discs. Do you know what I mean? It's it's just great. Something simple that I haven't just thought about until now. The L, uh, the uh, WL toys, when they stick them with pads, the pads come off after the first run. You know these are stuck. They're still there. You know, something as simple as this is just is thicker, it's better quality. The whole thing is just nicer. It truly is. Is it gonna put me off WL Toys? Well, hmm, right. I can't answer that and I'm not gonna answer that because, you know, WL Toys do have a lot going for them. Well, not the recent ones, but hopefully they'll uh, 
stop making rubbish and, and, and get on with some quality again. But, like, would I sell this one now? No, no, this is gonna be part of my collection for a very long time. It, it feels like I could just you know, charge a battery up, chuck it in the car, and it's just gonna run for months and months and months and months without without any maintenance, and I like that. I, after a lot of what's been happening lately, I like the fact that it can do that, and that that's actually really cool. So, links will be in the description below if you wish to purchase one of these yourselves. I, I do recommend it, this tiny little, brushless motor just seems to be able to punch it something chronic and I, I do like that hit that like button subscribe to the channel i'll catch you next time stay safe take care bye bye